Oh, hey YouTube, what are you doing? Get to the chopper, do it now! Because I'm the Terminator and I'm back with another bodybuilding video for you. It's in the chopper, go check it out. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Terminator, back with another one. This time I'm going to be talking about Jay Cutler and what I believe to be his best shape of all time. This was the 2009 Mr. Olympia. And um, right off the bat, I got, I got to mention because in one of my most recent videos, the 2011... Uh, where I recap the 2000, sorry, the 2007 Mr. Olympia. I was bashing Jay pretty hard, and I was picking him apart because I feel like Victor Martinez thoroughly defeated him that year, and I would have even placed Dexter Jackson and Dennis Wolf above him as well. So yeah, I was uh, bashing Jay pretty hard, and that sounded kind of wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so anyways, I try to be impartial. I try to be objective in all the critiques and analysis that I give. So it's not like I'm a Jay hater or anything. So on that note, uh, today is going to be all about pretty much praising Jay because in this show, he really nailed it. He really turned it around. Uh, this was night and day from the 2007 version. And I think it's pretty much uh, the consensus that 2009 was his best year. Uh, you know, honorable mention goes out to 2001 Mr. Olympia because that year he pushed Ronnie Coleman uh, really hard. He was actually beating him after prejudging. But I think, you know, at the end of the day, if you stood that version up against this version here in 2009, I think the 2009 version would pretty much overwhelm his 2001 self because he's just so much bigger at this point in his career. And he really brought up certain areas, like his back is, is noticeably wider than it used to be. I'd say his quads are better. He's just kind of bigger everywhere. And even when it comes to the conditioning, in certain areas in particular, namely his glutes and his hamstrings, which were never really a strong point for Jay, he really brought it up this year. He stepped it up in terms of the conditioning, so I got to give it to 2009. So without further ado, let's get into this. This is the front relaxed pose. You can already see crazy striations and stuff going on in his quads here. For some reason, it looks more noticeable in, in the left leg than the right. Uh, I'm not sure if he's just flexing this one harder or if there was a bit of asymmetry going on there. But regardless, just extremely balanced. These are legendary legs. I mean, look at the calves versus the quads. You pretty much almost don't see that these days because you see a lot of guys with, with crazy quads, but then you, you look down further down on the leg in the calf department and there's just like practically nothing there. <coughs> Rammy. <coughs> Wolf. <coughs> Oh, sorry, just had to clear my throat there, guys. But, I mean, this is, uh, Jay was just so well balanced. That's probably the number one thing that jumps out at me from this year. It's just such amazing balance throughout his whole body. And if you saw him standing next to guys, he's overwhelming them with mass, too. And then he had really good conditioning to, to boot. So, just a great overall package this year. Let's get into the poses. So, this is the front double bicep. And, um... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing crazy about it, and he doesn't look super defined or hard here, but he's just kind of, you know, he's just sharp enough, and he was uh, he was just so much bigger than all his competitors, so showing these pictures on their own doesn't almost doesn't even do him justice. You know, a lot of guys look really good on their own, but then you stand one next to other dudes, and they just get completely out and masked to the point where, you know, they might be more defined, but they just don't look impressive standing next to these bigger guys who are almost as conditioned. And that's kind of the case with Jay, or kind of the opposite case with Jay here, is like he actually looks way more impressive next to other people in most poses than he does on on, on his own. So, um, but yeah, you can just see what I'm talking about with the balance though, right? Like great uh, width through the lats, great legs overall. The arms are very well balanced with the shoulders and the chest and everything. It just... Uh, you know, there's not really a weak point on him here. So, well, let's move on to the next pose. Front lat spread. Again, you can see the crazy width through the shoulders and through the lats as well. The legs look top notch. Um, you know, I would probably critique his upper body a little bit for looking kind of smooth, especially through the arms. But, I mean, other than that, there's not much you can really... Um, nitpick with here too much and again keep in mind this was 2009 so you know the standards of that time it was kind of basically uh, this was the beginning of a renaissance of conditioning in a sense because we hadn't really seen conditioning this good since probably the late 90s 
because throughout most of the 2000s, guys were coming in really huge and, and all, but they were very soft and watery. It was kind of like water balloon type muscle, you know. So it wasn't until around this time, 2009, when certain guys like Jay Cutler, uh, Branch Warren, uh, those are probably the, the top two, and they kind of ushered in this, this new wave of, of renewed conditioning and dryness and stuff. So this isn't like super impressive compared to what you see maybe today, but for the time it was really good and along with his, I mean his conditioning was not never his strong suit and it's not even his strong suit here. His strong suit here is really his overall mass and development and just his balance that he has. That's really what I would say are Jay's biggest strengths. And let's move on to the side chest. I think he really hits this one well. He never really had um, great pecs. They were always a little flat and lacking in thickness, but you can see the width though. The width of them is great, and you can see striations over here. Um, the shoulder looks amazing. He always had really standout delts, and, and traps for that matter. His, probably his strongest body parts were his, his delts, his traps, and his quads, uh, along with the calves. I mean, he had several, right? But he, he had several very notable body parts, but, you know, it just flows very well. I like the way he's hitting this pose. He's got a lot of detail here in, in his legs, and his calves look amazing. And, you know, this is a really cool pose. I really like it. You look at all the detail in his midsection. This is really incredible for a guy of his size. Like, I don't think there's ever been a, a mass monster on Jay's level that's been able to maintain such a streamlined waist or not streamlined because it does look very uh, wide and blocky when you see it head on from the front but when he's twisting like this um, or when he's turned to the side there's virtually no distension like his stomach doesn't have that pregnant belly protrusion thing going on like most guys of his size you know it's almost inevitable it seems that they kinda get that that gut uh, going on and Jay, throughout his entire career, I believe, I never really recall him having any noticeable distension, which is just outstanding. I mean, he, I really got to tip my hat to the guy for that because that's an amazing accomplishment to achieve this level of muscle mass and not have any kind of distension for the most part. Like, just amazing. And yeah, this is an amazing shot for him here. It's I don't know what you would call this. He's kind of transitioning out of the side chest into like a modified side tricep but looks awesome doesn't it like I really like his midsection here as I just mentioned but everything looks very balanced you know now that he's flexing his arms they, they're kind of uh, coming to life a little more and they look much less smooth and more impressive now and you know the delts are, are crazy just a great shot and let's move on now this was never really his strongest pose you know, compared to certain guys like Kai or, or Phil, or Ronnie back in the day, even Dexter, he's really giving up a lot in terms of uh, the detail through his back. He never really had a lot of that. But what he does have a lot of is width through the lats, through the shoulders. And he does have thickness, even though he doesn't have that same level of, of you know, intricate detail and stuff going on in his back. He does have crazy thickness through his traps and his lats. Um, probably... You know, his biggest weakness is his lower back because he has relatively high insertions on his lats. And, you know, he has he, he was prone to this kind of wrinkling effect. So his lower back never looked impressive. Imagine if he had, you know, lower lats, like if these came down a couple more inches. But anyway, when you go downstairs, though, he really kind of dialed it in this year. Again, he was never noted for his um, amazing conditioning, but... Pretty much, it seemed like he kind of found the formula in 2009, and he never looked back because after this show, he kind of always brought it, brought this level of conditioning, you know. And he was never soft again like that 2007 showing or 2008, where those were kind of off years for Jay. Because once he found his formula, um, he pretty much stayed with this level of definition, but... You know, again, you got to applaud the size and the thickness and the conditioning downstairs is pretty good. It's not a weak pose by any means. I just, um, to me, it's it's not one of his strongest poses. But again, if you saw him standing next to other guys in this show, he'd probably be blowing them out of the water just with his overall size 
and thickness and everything. And again, we go to the back lat spread. And yeah, kind of the same thing. It's like, eh, you know, it's it's very good, but I wouldn't really say it's an, it's an elite back lat spread because um, it just looks a little soft and, and uh, washed out. He doesn't have a lot of detail going on, but the width is there again in spades. And um, the lower body still looks great. He's still uh, holding it together there. So it's another good pose for him. But this is an even better one, in my opinion. I really like him in the side tricep because, again, look at this midsection. Look how straight it is. Like, there's no distension. He was always, you know, like I said, he always kept it in check. And, you know, you got to tip your hat to the guy for that. But look at his arm in this pose. It looks huge. The tricep's so freaking massive. And the delt looks crazy. Um, yeah, the abs look great. The leg looks huge. Um, he didn't, never really had... A crazy hamstring sweep or a quad sweep for that matter like he never really had much sweep in his thighs but they were still massive and the calves were good I just like the way this flows with his physique I like the way he hits this pose and this one this was just like the most epic shot right I'm sure most of you have seen this one by now but if there was like a Hall of Fame of best bodybuilding picks throughout the years this would be in there for sure no doubt about it because look at this freaking feather in, man. Like, this is a uh, freaking... Jesus Christ, this is... I don't know what level you would put this on, but... You know what I'm saying. It's just like out this world type quad development here. And the calves look really good. The width of stairs is just remarkable. Um, yeah, this is just kind of like a game over type pose, even though this, this is not an official pose or anything. He's pretty much only really flexing his quad, but that's all he has to do is like one quad flexed and, you know, game over. He takes the show because I don't think anyone, maybe no one in the history of the sport has matched this. I don't know, man. These quads are easily making it. If I'm get around to making a top 10 quads or top 10 legs vid, Jay's going to be in it. Uh, no questions. I don't even have to like uh, re-examine it or anything. I can guarantee you that he'll be in that list. And let's go on to the ab and thigh. So this is what I was talking about before where his, his waist was always pretty blocky and wide as you can see from the front. Even though he always kept it in check in terms of the distension. Uh, as seen head on, you know, it's it, the obliques could definitely be more streamlined, especially over here. I mean, it's kind of throwing off his whole aesthetic appeal. Because look, you know, you got that taper, and then it cinches here, but then it flares back out again at the waist. So, very unbecoming. Um, but other than that, other than, the, other than the blocky waist, this is really a good pose for him. Because he's showcasing his probably his strongest body part, his quads again. And he does have a lot of detail through the midsection, a lot of uh, definition there. And tremendous width through the lats and you know his arms look massive so other than the waist there's not really too much you can pick apart here so let's move on to the most musculars and again he's crushing it you know you can see a really good split right here in this pec the abs are super sharp the arms and delts look really full the, the legs are just amazing just flat out amazing and let's go to the lastly but not least the crab pose and this is a really strong pose for Jay, especially in this show, because he's got outstanding trap development, um, some of the best delts probably ever. Even his pecs look really full here. Like sometimes they look a little flat, but they look really full here. And he's got great width through the chest and shoulders. Um, you know, the arms look good. The legs are super dominant, but not not to the point where they're like overpowering the rest of his body. Again, like I mentioned, he's very well balanced and proportioned. Uh, the only thing, you know, even the abs look great, right? Which a lot of times when guys hit this pose and they're bending over, it kind of just, you know, they kind of just lose it in like folds of skin and stuff. But you can still see like clearly defined abs here, which is really good. The only thing I would kind of nitpick here in this pose, um, other than, you know, maybe you could see some more like hard grainy defined muscle. It's still a little bit smooth, but... Other than that, in terms of development, the only thing I would say which is a lagging body part for Jay would be his brachial radialis, you know. His forearms down here look pretty good, right? But this here leaves a bit to be desired, in my opinion. Other than that, epic shot for Jay, an epic showing. 
I'd say is best of all time. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you agree 2009 or would you say 2001 or some other show? But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all for the day. And I'm the Tominator, and I'll be back.